Yes, yes, yes. Pleasant good evening, good morning, everyone. Um, hope everything good. Welcome to another Sunday reasoning with Street Vibes. And you don't know the program is Street Vibes and Friends. People, before we start, I'm asking that you um, check out our YouTube channel. You know, it's a new one. And, you know, just check it out and give some support by subscribing. You know, subscribe to our channel, give some support and thing. Um, this Sunday here you now, basically, it's going to be like a reflective Sunday where we're going to talk about, you know, the pandemic and stuff like that. I mean, people have gone through a lot, you know, some people lose a job, some people lose home, you know, some people, you know, just, it's just hard for them to keep on, you understand? And also, maybe even before the pandemic, you know, if there is a certain situation where, you know, on a while reason about, you can reflect back where you are coming from and where you are today. And you don't know, we just kick off the program, we are warm up. So, we have a warm up by playing this song here, you know. Um, every time I hear this song here, it just sort of gives you some strength, you know. It's not an artist where everybody know, but, you know, good tune, good positive tune. Here it goes. Listen to what he wants to say, listen to the words. Pick up yourself and maximum respect. Yo, hear me ask you hear me ask you hear me ask you people, we have to put a tuna, but we have to put a tuna, definitely, hear this. You know it's true to the flex you're presenting for Street Vibes, I'm going to say yo, Street Vibes, just keep the vibes alive, you know. True, we tie your dad, okay? Pull up, John. Listen to words. I mean, as I said before, what well, a reason today, Reflective Sunday. We're going to talk about some things that we've been through, you know, where we can look back today 
and maybe things not fixed but at the end of the day we still have survive we still have to give give thanks and um you know still have to go and see him because we have life i mean i can i personally can talk about you know my experience throughout this you know pandemic not that it has anything to do with the whole coronavirus but you know i've you know um i've lose i've lost two loved ones and you know dear loved ones you know i'm talking about my you know my stepdad and my my, my nephew you know in a short space of time um it was hard really hard for me but you know, with the support of families and, you know, support of my wife and, you know, with close family network we have, you know, we be able to pull through, you know, I can, um, you know, imagine, you know, my mom, you know, she lost her husband and shortly after that, she lost her grandchild, you know, it's not, you know, you know, you know easy because it's like you haven't recovered from one, but yet still you have to face another. You know, it was very hard to break the news to her, but you know, at the end of the day, um, you know, it just has uh, have to be done. You know, and um, I personally want to give thanks for you know her support network that she have over um over Cape Cod, um, you know, the church and stuff like that. They have done a wonderful job on a road to recovery you know i i and and i couldn't be there for none of the funeral you know that was really heartbreaking for me um i'm sure maybe other people out there have gone through maybe similar situation maybe there's people out there that um you know caught the coronavirus and um thinking that you know this would be the last of them um people going through um domestic situation because you know at the end of the day people are at home and not plenty of time relationships sometimes you know in the absence they work great you know they work they they they, 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 they flourish you know um but when two people have a lock in our home you know different personalities and stuff like that when all of that come out um you know, it, it can be like a, it can be a bad situation, you know. So people go through some um, domestic problems, you know, throughout this whole pandemic. Um, you know, then again, a lot of people lose their job. You know, therefore no income now come in. They can't pay their bills. You know, so you know, it's rough, it's rough, it's rough, it's rough, it's rough. Um, you know so you know we can hold a reason about that we can share our experiences because sometimes by sharing experiences it sort of give us the drive to go on because at the end of the day we realize that we are not the only one and situation out there is worse than you know what we are going through you know it's challenging times at the moment you know the kids are off you know plus a lot of parents out our job kids have to eat and stuff like that you know rent have to pay bills have to pay the struggle is really hard so basically people are this who want to share you know we just want to hold a reason from this because as we say a tough time let's hold a vibes let's hold a reasoning let's hold a talk you know um anybody who want to come in join in the conversation i mean you don't anybody want to join in the conversation just type in the comment you know um join and i will hit you up and you know you can share your experience because throughout this pandemic here or even before everybody has got you know an, an experience you know they've got a testimony to give them you know so make all our vibes make all our reasoning make go on you know warm up the thing and get into it i mean i heard you was same way you know the program just start i mean i've come across a few um clips here and you know more of a sheer you know hungry out there one next serious thing i mean i was talking to my friend the other day and you know people 
in a first world country you'd never believe this you know our friend sent her a message and said she had borrow half glass of milk people borrow half glass of milk this trouble is real you know um you know when you hear a situation like them there you know say boy yo out of road there sticky bad sticky bad all right we'll go to the comment section and read two comment um you know philip sharp said he lost two grandmothers last year back to back you know one in may and one in june boy condolence my brother you know me only hope say the family you know uh, you know have some strength and you know just keep keep your grandmother in the memories you know keep a loved one in your memories and just keep them going on all right so um the first thing we're gonna play here we're gonna play one clippings here you know um this man here this man is actually a rasta man still you know pressure on trust me all right Virgins and sisters, you know, cause separation and you know, only one man, you know. You know, see it and we say a nation and a generation. A lot of people face it in a two times, you know. I mean I say right you now, when I tell you about, about the real part of hunger. The real part of hunger is myself, where I feel it right now. And right now it's right now and I nice I give thanks and praise to the most high the last side the first, you know, Queen Amiga Empress I. Yeah, because life divine strength enough you know, power, you know. And some people still are dears and don't want to listen. You know, see, because when a man like me work up and wake up and go on and work, and say, boy, me go and hustle now. And when me take a stop, me can't find nothing for eat and them things there. It's like a dream to her. It's like I lock up in a jailhouse and can't find the key. You know what I mean? Eh? But it's not strange to no one else, because when the Africa stays so, up, when China stays so, up, when Russia stays so, up, Rona France just stays so, up, and me still not enough know the business with no guns and being it. It's like me suffer. But I still not have a look in Babylon for what? Where I can't find Yes, my people. So basically, you know, the struggle is real. The struggle is on. You know, the Rasta man I talk about him hungry. I don't know. You know, I look to Selassie and thing. But I mean, you know, me myself personally, me can't talk about hunger because I'm really never hungry yet still. But, you know, the pressure is on. And people out there go through all sorts. So people may tell you, no, I may beg you. No. I mean, if you can share, especially in times like these, you know, reach out to somebody. Share. You understand what I say? Yeah. So, you know, who are fit? You know, yeah, as I said before, you know, I've gone through my fear share. You know, losing, I mean, you know, a loved one. Um, You know, I, this is what, 2021, 2019. You know, I went to um, America, you know, check my, ne my, my, my nephew and thing and I'm workplace and, you know, I travel all the way from, um, I travel all the way from Connecticut to um, New Jersey, you know, by myself. Just out there, focus and know so well, yeah, I'm going to check my nephew and, um, you know, I'm going to check him and me and him, all the reason, he did work still, but, you know, he had a, good 20 minutes half an hour and you know we sit down and we talk for all the reason take some pictures and stuff like that and um you know st still I recover from losing my stepdad you know that was a really hard time for me you know personally it was a really hard time for me as you know I couldn't be there for the funeral or anything I couldn't be there for my mom you know because of this whole lockdown and stuff um you know one day while i was at work i mean my brother called me and he said to me he was crying like crying 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 and um i never really hear my brother cry my brother is not a crying person he's not an emotional person you know and um and um yes carries big up yourself um sophia big up yourself big up big up big up bless up everybody with in the live here i mean you know make all our reasoning you know and people please remember to check out my youtube page street vibes and friends and support yeah support you know subscribe like um yeah so my brother called me and i cry you know 
like uncontrollably cry and he's like Chris where what are you doing? I mean he's like what wrong with your brother? What wrong with you? I mean I drive me I drive you know and he said pull over pull over pull over and we got so woman um I pull over I mean I say what wrong with you cause I've never seen my brother in that state or hear of him in that state. You know, as I said he's a strong person. He, you know, he's a strong character. He's a, he has a strong character. Um, you know, so I pull over and he said to me, say, Javi gone. And I say, what do you mean? What do you mean? Because personally, me, I think, say, boy, you know, me know something really wrong, but me never either expect that. You know, me freeze. Like, and immediately me start seeing every picture like like me I look on him like you know when he tell me that and I mean we have a cry together and I mean there, w w there was no words I could like say to my brother like you know I mean I don't know what comforting words I could say to him more than just listening to him cry and you know just encourage him to just mourn because I mean for your person to lose their first child and their only boy is 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 it's hard you know it's hard it's hard not easy at all um um yeah it's it's hard and um you know, I was on the phone there, you know, with him and to him calm down a bit, you know. And then the next thing now was to tell my mom. Remember now, my mom has just not so long lost her husband. And, you know, but she had to know what was going on, you know, because that's her grandson. And, um... You know, my brother was saying to me that, oh, Chris, you know, I don't know how you're going to do it. I, you know, and stuff like that. But, you know, we had to make a few phone calls and stuff. I remember when I called my mom. Because, you know, I, I talk to my mom every day. Every single day. Two, three times a day. Not, not, not day in the past. You know, I will message each other. You know, we have a great communication. My mother is not... My mother is not like a mother. She's like a best friend. She's a mother. She's everything like, you know, one whole package. Trust me. If there's anything when me scared of talking to anybody about, she's one person where I can call her and say, Mommy, this, 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 this. And if me, if me wrong, me can tell my mother, say me wrong. And trust me, she will be with it. You know, she not go, you know, encourage any form of, you know, um, foolishness, but. I feel comfortable if you tell her still. But anyway, when me call her, um, you know, me ask her what she's doing, and she's like, oh, she's cooking. I said that she was cooking some breakfast. So I said, Mommy, how far are you reaching? Are you cooking? She said, oh, I'm just been on the pot not too long, you know, and you know, she had cook. And, um, and, um, you know, um, I said to her, I said, Mommy, turn off the stove and she's like what happened now I mean I say mommy turn off the stove and um, I'm gonna talk to you about something I'm gonna talk to you about something but um, I need somebody there with you please don't ask me what I'm gonna talk to you about yeah and she's like, Lord Jesus, I want to know. What am to Marvin? And he's like, Mommy, Marvin is okay. And then she asks about two other persons. And I said to her that they are okay. So she calmed down. Because the reason being is that she never know or expect what she never hear. Anyway, people. Um... Then she turned off the stove 
and she said she gonna make a few phone calls. No, but but before she said that, she's like she tried to find out from me what's wrong. And I said, "Mummy, what did I say to you? I said to you that, you know, don't try to find out from me what I'm gonna say to you until, you know, I'm ready. Like you know, when you have somebody else there, she still don't know what happened." So, you know, knowing my brother, he's very, very, very protective. <laughs> you know, he's like, basically, he's like a shield over us. So, him, even though he's in a state, you know, and still help organize it and stuff like that. And, um, yeah, we had to break the news to her. And it wasn't easy, you know. And I can say that she's a strong person because, um, looking on her and now and this just happened you know just you know, last year you know one 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 last year and one 2020 and one 2021 if you remember sir my card um yeah looking back no looking on her no i mean you know she accepts things for what it is and she's going on you know we can smile and we can talk you know not saying that maybe she'll have our moments but i mean you know it was a hard time for us and basically guys that's my experience you know yeah 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 it wasn't an easy one trust me people trust me may i tell you may i tell you so I saw the thing set, people. I want to know, um, ah, uh, it's not easy, not easy. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Uh, rough, 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 rough. So, people, anyway, as I say, we are share a story, you know, you know. So, um, yeah, I saw you go. So, um, let me, um, Hold on, my people. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. See if we can get somebody from the line here for you. Share, you know, share the story. Come on, the people, man. Don't be shy, man. Make we share what I go on. We're all in this thing together, you know. We're all in this thing together. Trust me, we're all in this thing together, you know, it, the, the, the journey, you know, easy. And as I say, sometimes if people just talk, if we just share, you know, it, at least it give another person hope. There must be something that somebody out there got you where, um, you know, where they can talk about. And as I say, the other day, I hear a friend say somebody message her. In our first world country, a barrel, half glass of milk. The struggle is real. Yeah. Yes. Derek Morgan is homeless again. Morgan, who's been living on the streets for over 15 years, found a home in 2018. However, the recent heavy rains in October have forced him back on the streets again. Now he. Hold on, little Sophia. Sophia, we, um, <laughs> um, no, man, we don't only have talk about hungry, man. We have talk about everything on our whole, man. I mean, throughout the whole pandemic, you know, even before the pandemic, some things that we can just look back on people and just reflect, you know, see where you all come from. You know, there must be a certain little situation maybe where you want to share. As I said, just join and you can share your experiences. Trust me, people. People watch about these videos, you know, where you all go to can motivate somebody else to press on and know say well listen me the struggle is here with me but at the end of the day you know i'm not the worst and you know then then can just go on you know you know easy you know easy at all trust me people out there lose their work people out there lose their homes people out there lose loved ones people out there lose you know lose hold on hold on hold on yeah, people out there, you know, lost a lot. So, you know, we could just share what I go on and all the reasoning, you know, so that's what the reason is about.
Now he comes to the St. William Grant Park in downtown Kingston daily to access the internet to find a job. The old Bill O'Meara run a vineyard town. He called up the vineyard when he ran it up fall. And me up a run out and seek assistant help. Help. No, we are tired of sleep on the street. Sometimes at the same old building, and the old building dark and no water, nothing here. Want to turn my life. Want to end end the December month here. Frank Powell is another homeless man. He was a teacher. He stays at a facility in downtown Kingston for the homeless. But there's a challenge. The facility is only accessible at night. This is the overnight stay on Church Street where homeless people have been staying. Yeah, well, go on, people. So, somehow we, 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 in our home, and we take even, we, we take even our home for granted. You know? People out there, a lot of people out there don't have a home. I don't know how much I want to hear about the situation the other day where I think it was about six mentally ill, you know, people got chopped up, you know? Um, you know, the struggle is real out there. I mean, there's some of you guys out there that, you know, had corona that think that, you know, it was the last day. There was no coming back. You know? Um, um, you know, the struggle is real. I mean, Sophia, I'm going to reach out to you. Yeah, I'm going to reach out to you. Because, I mean, you must have a story. Because, um, you know, you're helping people. What are some of the situations where you come across? You know? You know? So, yeah, I think I'm going to reach out to you, Sophia. I hope you're not shy now. I hope you're not shy. I'm going to reach out to you. I hope you're not shy. One sec. Yes, my people. Yeah, man, we are all a reasoning, man. The struggle is on out there, man. And all we can do is just talk about it and help to um, motivate each other. You know? Huh. Hi. Good evening. How are you? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you loud and clear. You're live with us. Hello. Hello. Yes, I can hear. I can hear you loud and clear. Uh, oh, okay. Hi. How are, how you? are you? I'm fine. Now. I'm fine. Now. We're just here holding our reasoning, and I've, you know, I saw your um comment, and I said I'm gonna reach out to you. But firstly, before yeah. I start talking to you, I wanna thank you for what you're doing. You know. Yeah. Um, yeah. so how things been for you? Oh, things has been very challenging. Letting them, I don't even know where to start. So my mother died Christmas 2020. Oh, my and after she died, two weeks after my brother died in Jamaica. Wow. And two weeks after he died, my aunt died. Wow. No, no, hold on, little. stop little Sophia. People. I want to see what I try to say. This is what I try to say, you know. Midday year I talk to boy, you know, I lose two loved ones. See a person here, I share a story where they not only lose one, three. This me I talk yep. about. Anyway, continue. Three so one yeah. time, three the hard Continue, way. continue, so, continue. And then I have a son who is seven. He's autistic, nonverbal. Mm -hmm. So the pandemic hit me very bad because I had to reconvene everything i was home with him for nine months wow. couldn't go anywhere stop working i was in school trying to get my master's at the same time thank mm -hmm. god i was able to finish mm -hmm. send him back to school because he can't really stay home because he have to get like physical therapy yeah, ot yeah. and stuff like that so i couldn't keep him home because it was too stressful on me send wow. him back to school a month after he went back to school because you know he can't wear mask and stuff because mm -hmm. sensory issue came yeah. home he got covid and gave it to all of us wow yep wow. So, i mean so, how worse can this be like i mean no 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 how worse can this be i mean what, what was your strength during all of this god yeah yeah. All I can do, all I had to do was pray, pray, pray yeah. and trust me and believe me. There's sometimes where I feel like, you know, this is it. This is the end for me because I don't know where, to, what to do, where to go. And 
is the stigma against, you know, African Americans. They mm. say, oh, we are the poorest people and you can't get certain help and you can't get certain services. And in some com community, they're giving so much, but in the African African American community, there's nothing. You have to walk. I mean, I tell you, I work. And when you see me walking around to different food banks, not embarrassing, my kids embarrassed, but I don't care. Yeah. Because yeah, guess what? Yeah, At the end of the yeah. day, we have to eat. Because remember, I have to stay home to take care of my autistic child. Definitely, so where the money going to come from? Where the money going to come so from? I have to make sure them. I have to make sure that I put pride out of my eyes and say, you know what, my kids need to eat. So, wow. good thing the school system, they had this thing where twice a week you could go get breakfast, lunch, and stuff if the kids doing online learning. So, every Tuesday and Thursday, I was at the school getting the food and come back home with it. Wow. And that wow. helped me through the pandemic wow. because guess what happened? Food well, they spent when they're going to the supermarket, almost, almost half of the things they want is gone. Uh -huh. And right. now I wasn't only helping myself. When I get the food, you know what I used to do with it? Tuck up a bag. Uh -huh. And my mother in Brooklyn, yeah. she was getting to. Because I make sure, I, even though it was hard on me, I didn't think about it being hard on me. I think about how can I help somebody else. One, one, one and watch the other, right? Yeah, definitely, definitely, so definitely. Sure I make sure I pack a bag and I tell her, okay, you see, when you come to Connecticut, food will be here for you. Because in Brooklyn, it's different. They don't have the food system like we have it here in Connecticut. Yeah. Right? Where if you need something, you can go down there and say, give that too much because Brooklyn is overpopulated. Uh -huh. So people, yeah, the stuff them that they give you here in Connecticut, a lot of the people in Brooklyn wasn't getting. So I make sure yeah. that my sisters and their niece and nephew had food definitely and people wow. don't understand because as african-americans and not even african-americans jamaicans mm -hmm. we feel like okay you know what me too stush or me me no one about this me i got to know food bank go get food yeah but the white yeah. communities and the asian americans them the one going to the food bank and them have them big house they have big bank account but you see and the you're the stupid little one when i want to get the mm -hmm, food mm -hmm, you can't mm -hmm, pay your rent mm -hmm. you're homeless Mm -hmm. And you have a cry and tell the government that you're supposed to help me. No. One and watch the other. God help those who help themselves. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Boy, listen. Yeah. I feel listen me. I feel a pain. Believe me, I feel a pain. And um, so I mean, how how much how much how much children you have? One, two? How are they I coping? Have three boys, three mm -hmm. boys age seven, fifteen, and twenty-one. But thank God everything is good. I went back to work. Uh -huh. You know, I'm working now. Uh, my kids are in school, so, you know, the situation is good now. We are recovered from COVID. I tell anybody they think COVID is a joke, it's not a joke because I am one of the most cautious person there is on this planet. When I say I was doing what they tell us to do now with COVID. Spray your, spray your house, Lysol. I was doing all of that before COVID. And I tell myself that I will never catch COVID. Uh -huh. And when I catch COVID, that was the scariest thing in my life. Wow. So people have to realize it's real and it's out there. And you have to take precautions. And if you need help, ask for it. Don't be too scared. And don't think that people are not going to help you. Sometimes if you share your story, it's so you get the help. Because... Nobody can know what you're going through unless you talk about it. Definitely, definitely, definitely. As Sophia, I never have a clue or I, I never know that, I mean, you guys are going through so much. Because you know what? I, mean, I don't talk. Because I battle with everything I'm going through internally. And people say, oh, you're so strong. You're the strongest person. And people going through stuff, them come to me. People have pain, then come to me depression then come to me they say oh you do because i do social work i'm a social right? so people believe that oh she's a social worker she don't feel pain she don't go through hard times mm -hmm. because it's your job to take care of others but sometimes you have to let people know guess what yes i'm going through stuff yes i'm in pain yes i need help because you can't be too proud to ask for help right definitely 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 and you know sophia i i you know people Please, may I beg on participate because you know your story. You know now, Sophia. I mean, you can look back now because now, um, 
you know you're back at work now and the situation are kind of changed and stuff like that but it's like basically before you come on i felt like i was going through the worst <laughs> you understand and, and, and this is the reason why we want to have people to motivate each other say boy listen me press on same way despite the, the struggle despite you know because it, a, a serious time now yeah you know, and we can't give up we and cannot give up and this is not the time to be too cocky this is not the time to feel like okay you know what if you ask for help people are gonna turn on if one person turn it on ask again if two Definitely. people turn it on ask again when you fall down on the floor get back up somebody mm -hmm. you will hear a yes somebody mm -hmm. gonna say yes don't be mm -hmm. discouraged and say you know what what i'm asking and people don't want to give me nothing and people feel like okay i'm begging guess what keep asking because it will be that one person when you feel like you don't understand you can't get up there might be one person going through the same thing as you once you reach out to that one person you never know what your life will be and how your life will change Definitely. but don't be discouraged because I was one of the person who was very discouraged and said, you know what, I'm giving up, that's it, nothing mm -hmm. gonna happen for me, that's it, life, you know, what can I do not to myself? And I sit, not a lot of people um, believe in God, mm -hmm. you know, but through this pandemic, you have to believe in something, I don't yeah, care what you believe yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, Even yeah, if you yeah, get up yeah, and look yeah. outside the window and say, you know what, it's sunny today. Mm -hmm. Go in mm -hmm. the mirror and look at yourself and say, you know what? I'm pretty, I'm beautiful. Go in the mirror and say, God, wake you up this morning, so at least I have that. Definitely. And focus on that and build your strength on that and say, you know what? I have my strength, I have my life. Some people didn't make it yesterday, some people didn't make it today, but you're mm -hmm. still here. Yeah. And work on that and say, you know what? I'm still here. I'm still surviving. God didn't take me away yet, so I must have a purpose. Definitely. I want to ask you a question. That. I want to ask you a question, Sophie, right? I mean, yeah. You know, you said that um, you know, you, uh, a member of your family had got um COVID, right? And my uh, my seven year old, the artistic one who can wear a mask. Yeah, he has got he, he got COVID, and then he bring it, you know, back, and all of you guys had it, right? I mean, how yeah. how, how did you cope? Did you feel at any time that <laughs> um, you know, you're gonna lose yourself or lose, you know, yes. one of your yes wow. because even up to today i still have covid symptoms and we we caught covid in november last year uh -huh. right and we were clear we had to i thought i was going to lose it because the department of health i don't know how some country is but once they figure out you have covid they call you every day to make sure you don't leave your house uh -huh. Uh -huh. and i couldn't uh -huh. leave my house for two weeks and i called 211 which is the normal thing here and i said how you expect me to survive? I'm not working. My son, who is seven year old, is still in diaper. Mm -hmm, How mm -hmm. the hell am I supposed to get diaper at the store? Mm -hmm. How am I supposed to get wipes if I can't go outside? You know what I did? Yeah, what? Call 211 and I explained my story and you would have somebody drop off food at my door every week. Okay. Somebody okay. drop off wipes and diapers at my door every week because we reach out and I ask. But in the, the interim of that, I felt like I was losing it. I felt like I was depressed because I didn't know what was going to happen. On the flip side, I don't know after the 14 days how I'm going to feel. I don't know how it's going to react. It's like a stigma. You don't want to tell nobody you had COVID because, oh, you had COVID. Don't stay next to me. You had COVID. I don't want to be around you. Yeah, but it yeah. was very nerve-wracking because... Even though we all had it, they said we're masking the house. So you have to wear masks in the house. You have to be careful. Um, we only have one bathroom, so we all share one bathroom. You uh -huh. know, at least my oldest was upstairs 21. He was the last one to get it because his room is upstairs. Yeah. Ours yeah, is downstairs. Yeah. So he tried his best not to get it, but in, <laughs> in the long run, he caught it. But thank God he was asymptomatic. He didn't have any symptoms. He recover, we all recover, and everybody is fine now. But it was not an easy go because it was like a death sentence. Yeah. Because the symptoms yes. and everything you yes. get yes. is real. With the 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 um the problem breathing, no smelling like I lost my scent, my taste and smell for like three weeks. Mm -hmm. So it wow. was a struggle, but wow. you know, God wow. is good. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So how are how are you today though? I mean, you know, how, how I am blessed. I am doing fine. Thank God we are all blessed. 
we have recovered. We are hanging in there. My kids are in school. They're doing online. Well, the 15-year-old does online. The 7-year-old is back in school. I'm working, and my oldest is looking for a job because he he left his job during COVID because um, he had to stay home. But hopefully, he will find something just now. Yeah. Pray the God yeah. that. Yeah, you know, I hope because, so as well. Yeah. In this time and day with the pandemic, they're very skeptical about hiring and stuff like that. Uh -huh, but he's uh -huh, in college, uh -huh. so that's good. Why, right, Sophia? Yeah. I yeah. want to thank you for <laughs> participating in what our discussions. I mean, you know, you not only inspire me, but I'm sure. I mean, a lot of people watch my my live shows on a weekend, and I'm sure somebody's gonna listen back again and and be inspired by your story. Um, you know, keep strong, keep praying. Thank you. You know, look after the kids, and you know, I mean, if the struggle is real. I mean, I'm here. Reach out to me. You know? That's good. Thank you. Know? You. Um, you know, I want to... I don't know what to say. I really don't know what to say <laughs> to you. I mean... <laughs> it's okay. We are we are okay. And yet, that's, that's the reaction I get from people all the time because they don't, re they don't believe... They say, oh, you're such a strong person and you can't be going through nothing because when we look at your Facebook page, you don't put anything up there about... But sometimes mm -hmm. you don't... You don't have, people don't have to know your business, you know? You you yeah, inside yeah, you yeah. go into stuff, but when you go outside, you laugh and smile because that's how you're supposed to do it. Definitely, 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 yeah. definitely, definitely, yeah. definitely. So, I mean, proper respect to you. Um, is there anybody you want to shout out to? No, 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 because I don't even know anybody in 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 in. I mean, all my most of my family is here. The rest in Jamaica. Um, well, I just said my brother died, so the only living one now is junior mm -hmm. and he's hanging in there with his mother and sisters and everybody so, so oh, mommy good she's good but sh she's in brooklyn okay okay so okay, i'm the okay. only one that live in connecticut i moved away so connecticut yeah you know new haven new haven is in connecticut right new haven is in connecticut but that's the starting of connecticut so it's like going towards new york Okay. So New okay, Haven is like okay. an hour from Connecticut. I'm two hours and forty five minutes because I'm in Hartford. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Yeah. Proper respect and thanks for passing through and sharing your You're story welcome. and much love. And Anytime. as we say, yo, you, you, you know my inbox. <laughs> me now have to tell you what my inbox. Is. You understand? Yeah. No so problem. Big up yourself. Much love. Right. Okay. All right. Yeah, man. All yeah. right. Stay tuned. Yeah, man. Yes. People, trust me. Um. You know, I mean, th 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 this is what I'm talking about. Um, this is what I'm talking about, you know, sharing stories. I mean, I've just been, you know, inspired by um, her story just now. I mean, I've, I've, as I said, you know, I shared my story with you guys. And hearing that now, you know, it inspired me to, you know, cheer up myself push on and if also if I can help you know I, I I help you know the struggle is real um you know I don't know if anybody else want to share their story um you know that they have been through I mean as I said people out there they lose jobs you know they lose their home you know they lose their car I know people lose the the, the mode of transportation you know and I feel like you know public transport you know people out there as well lose their family you know people out there are going through domestic violence because you know you're the lucky in this confiding space and nobody now give themselves time you know space you know on a normal occasion one would be at work and one home and then spell a couple hours together and then they had a one gone because you know absence make the art go um thunder so you know the struggle is real the struggle is real 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 um yeah it's 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 the struggle is real out the people you know Really <laughs> 
Well, I'll go, well, I'll go, well, I'll go, well, I'll go. One second, boss. One second, one second. Look at here, so one second. I'm going to make it here, so one second, one second, the people. Um, I'm going to make the boss here, so listen this, listen this. You know it's true to the flex representing for street vibes. I'm going to say your street vibes, just keep the vibes alive, you know. True, we tight. Oh, wow. All right, let's see our word. One time, the boss. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so basically. Oh, well, yeah man, what they you know? So basically what we are talking about, you know, it's a reflective Sunday. I mean, throughout this pandemic a lot has happened, you know, people has been going through a lot. A lot of people, yeah. you know, some of our loved ones has even got the coronavirus and feel like it was the last day they're living. Um, because of the struggle, some people lose their home, you know, they lose their job, they lose loved ones. You know, so we just want to reflect because sometimes we think that we are going through the worst, but when you hear another person's story. Like the young lady just called just now and share, you know, we just contact the young lady just now and she share her story, you know, I share yeah. mine. So, I mean, how this whole pandemic or before the pandemic, is, was there any struggle that you've been through you want to share in order to motivate somebody? Um, uh, not really, not really. Um, my, my thing kind of different still, you know, because like, me, me, me in a country where them take it serious and the guidelines and thing and you know if, if you're they, 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 they will pay your salary you know mm -hmm. full and thing like that and the government make provisions for you in whatever other little way so you know if if, if you drop off certain way there is mm -hmm. there's agencies and stuff like that where help you out oh. but you know what mm -hmm. you remember the little girl what me to share with her say are 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 she get abused? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. This is this is sometime. Mm -hmm. Another it's not exclusively for me, you know some people like hard on them thing with the jail. Yes. But there's a lot of um work we do behind the scenes where a lot of people don't know. You know. Yes. That's how we kiss it for yes, the people yes, then yes, yes, where, yes. Where, where we touch people for life. You understand me? Yes. And the 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 the, the, the assistant that I've given to not me alone but me spearhead it mm -hmm. to, to to this young lady um is, is life changing for her okay that's life good that's good that's, um, good that's good and I I I I I got some link with you know my politician link them on thing and so her so, daughter I get it here. Mm -hmm. You know, good care of the hospital mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Um, the person who abuse her, not sexually but physically, mm -hmm. um, them them still up on the run. We, we still have search for the person. But the thing is that the a lot of people love to say politicians don't do nothing. This was a case where we met one phone call, right? Mm -hmm. And the the, 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 the junior minister and the minister of education. Robert Nesta Morgan, jump on it, get the state involved, get the agencies involved, and assistance is being rendered to her. Now, we have on a, a, a mission now to try to build a house with the young lady, so because she lives she live with her father, uh -huh. and her kids, them, and the, the place is very small. Uh -huh. So we have, we have seek assistance now to our charity, and other people to, to, to get her a little own space so she can have a little bit more independence and feel more, you know, um, Comfortable. Um, comfortable. Definitely, yeah. definitely. You know. All right, hold on. I'm going to ask you a question now. So, is it a case now? Because as I'm saying now, right now the time, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, Sham, big up yourself. Bless up. Enough love, my sister. Stacy, bless up yourself. Enough love, enough, enough. Anne Marie, whole heap of love. Bless up yourself. Petal, bless up yourself. Bless up yourself, my brother Otis. You know, enough love and respect every time. Yes. So, may I say now, say, all right? Say, I mean, is a time well, we, the time we are got you now we need help all the help we can get as a people because it's trying time at the moment so if somebody now got you a certain situation is it that they can reach out to you and you can maybe offer them some form of help um me now go say no i mean them can reach out to me of course and whatever help me can ask, ask um offer to them i will because i mean i i have help whatever people personal out of my pocket you understand me? Me and I bridge with that England to Josie Will. We help send this nursing this nursing student to 
youth at nursing school mm -hmm. um, a group of youth as, as jlp supporters put hard earned money together and almost half a million or six hundred thousand dollars worth of wow. tuition and supplies and stuff like that to get so i mean i can use the state Link, m m people don't work in the state agencies, they might get assistance to people, you know. But what we encourage a lot of people to do mm -hmm. is talk to them local representatives. A lot of people talk about say, them can't bother our government. Are they is. shy? Are they, 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 they're not pride? You know, pride that kill them. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's like the lady who just Go started just now, you know. Go on the website, them, the agent, the, the, the government website, them, it's free of cost. You know, if you have internet, you know, if you have credit. Right, go for the agencies them and seek assistance in the programs them. You understand me? Not only that, too, there's a lot of training program and a lot of certification program. So say you want just make up, but you never get formal training, or you want barber or whichever area of skill you in, but you never get particular certified or school training, but you learn as apprentice. Mm -hmm. There's a there's a program going on now. Mm -hmm. It's got to all of Jamaica, right? Mm. It's on the NTA website. You can see when they come to your parish, your town, yeah. try to make an effort for, for, for meet them, mm -hmm. and you can get them certified within one day. This can help to propel you because you have the certification note into a better job. So these are some of the things that people will look about and not just sit down and say, not going to go on. Definitely, brother. Definitely, 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 definitely. Yeah. I mean, and saying that no, we're gonna play that little clip here. And saying that, um, yeah. We're gonna I hope on the street, you know, because he doesn't come from a poor family where my mother and father could not afford it. Hold on, we're, we're not gonna play that clip here. We'll wait till Lester done. So, Lester, so we are said basically, you know, go up, no challenge at all. I mean, you haven't lost anyone, you haven't catch COVID, you haven't lose your job, you haven't lose your home. Is there anything at all throughout your life? Uh, where? During COVID, we changed during COVID, we changed three jobs. That might tell you. Okay. So, wow, wow. So the struggle was on then. But 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 no no man, we never lose three jobs. We change three jobs. Okay. So job did not where is man. A whole if a job there, you can just drop one job and pick up a job. No, but it depends. It depends on the area, the area where you're in. A, you know. So me in a logistics, so the mother always want um people for, for logistics because at, at, at a particular juncture like this, people need things. People need things definitely, to move on point definitely, 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 definitely. So that, that, I, that was a, a blessing, mm. you know, um, especially too because my work, my, my work in a day, not really the port, something like DHL, like that, the industry there, at the, at the time. Yeah. Different agents I, I have some experience with logistics as well, people. And um exactly. yeah, it's it's um during times like these, these are the place that um yeah. you know propel more, you know, these, these companies more more yeah, exactly. more profit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well yeah. let's start so the thing set you know. So is there any advice you want to give people in these trying times now? Alright, what what people have to do is and, and this is something I've been saying for a long while. We have social media, we have internet access. Do not just use it for say, I'm going to take picture, or I'm going to fast the people business, or I'm going to cost people. Utilize the internet to make your lives better, right? Mm -hmm. You can go on sites. Right now, you have a thing where they call it stock market, whether locally or, or in a. In a, in a um, America, Canada, these places. Yeah. At this juncture, the stock them is very cheap. Mm -hmm. So you all need a secondary or a third income. Right? You can do you don't have to invest no whole heap of money. It can be as small as a hundred US dollar. Right? Small as five thousand Jamaican dollar, two thousand Jamaican dollar. Invest in a stocks and them something there. You can start a YouTube channel. There's many things you can do. No people have them live in a place where they have two extra rooms or one extra room. Rent out one of the room then. No, no people like me can have extra room. Me not like people in my space. But that's something I look for, look towards the boy. Yo, I can bring in an extra 600 euro. You understand me? Or 700 euro. So these are some of the things people have to look around them mm -hmm. in them space. 
right? Mm -hmm. And say, boy, what can we do in this time to make an extra dollar? Mm -hmm. and, and but the internet is there for everybody. You can offer your services where you can be um like a, a, a clerical person for, for, for big companies where pe that pay a lot of people make crazy money after that, you know. Companies yeah. want people who like like you're the home now. Mm -hmm. And them them send you a, 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 a file with some work what they want to do. Mm -hmm. and, and you type up the work or whatever and emails or stuff like that. And you send it back in and then pay you. Definitely, so definitely. look for different avenues to make to make a, 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 a dollar. You know, YouTube is there to educate you and whatever you want to do. I have a friend in my comp in fixed computer. He never been to a computer school. And mm -hmm. YouTube will learn in Copan and learn and you can fix any type of device, no. Yeah, 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 so, yeah, so, yeah. So, so, so we have to make ourselves marketable and those sitting away from government or people are foreign or complain. Well, you know? Sham, Sham is saying that GameStop, GameStop stock market is a real deal right now. So I guess maybe she invests some money in it. So, I, I, you know, you give her some good advice right there. So still. But anyway, let's stop. We are going to run if you are now. Big up yourself. Stay tuned. And if anything at all, I'm going to reach out back to you again. Yeah, because you know, say I want to with dear one person. Huh? Remember my program later, I'm going to do an interview later with TOK manager and one of the TOK member them live on Twitter. Yeah, man, advertise it, man. Say, say which fire there later on, man. It's fine. No, it's on YouTube live. I'm going to send you the link, man. So you, can, you can put the link in your all right, now say a word then, now say a word, now say a word. And people, please remember, like, share, and you can go over YouTube, Street Vibes, Bella Pete, uh, uh, um, a channel over YouTube, Street Vibes and friends, people, may ask on the support. We are trying to build something here, may ask on the support. Please subscribe, please subscribe. Let's start, may I roll left here now, may we talk after here, you know that already. You know, oh. enough respect. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right, bless up yourself. Yes, my people. So, the journey continue. So, here goes. Here goes. Here goes. Here goes. Here goes. Hold it. 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 One second, my people. One second. One second. One sec. Yeah, one sec, my people. Don't be shy. <laughs> I wonder if she did work. <laughs> yeah. Alright, maybe my people, I think maybe she did work. But, you know, maybe I want definitely have um, some input. You know, because um you know she have some good advice. Sham here saying for me I think that people get too complacent and right now is not the time for that right now. You know, to be complacent is not the time for that right now. A time for we try for you know, for um make most of ourselves, utilize, you know, our Okay, okay, all right, cool. So when you finish the laundry, you know, or oh, I'm already there when you finish the laundry, you know. Yes. <laughs> all right, people, we'll play that clip here now. I only can listen. The struggle is real, people. Trust me. All right, here goes. Here goes. I go up on the street now because I come from a poor family where my mother and father couldn't afford it. And my mother was the only one who tried to stress myself to send me to school and she did a lot of work. And we see the stress that she had gone through, so I just leave my yard and we just come in the street and yeah, me up on the street, we grow up. We grew up in a separation and in the street, you learn a lot, you know. Yeah, because if you don't come in the street, you're not going to learn to monitor yourself, monitor your business, and monitor your money. Because you have to fear separation first. So that means so when you step up now, and you make it, you're not going to squander it. No, no you get something. I don't see who happy knows, say, yeah, I'm going to put a link in our corner, and just try to turn over something. 
So that you can come back around, come to the same and help other people. Program now. So that better have my life if you go to the art program. You know, I don't do a lot for me. Because I need to pick up on my reading skill. And certain more skill. Yeah, I need to know certain more about certain words and things. Mechanical work, I love it, but I need to know more about it. Yes, my people, the struggle, the struggle, the struggle is real. Trust me, the struggle is real. The struggle is real, people. Um, you know, people out there, as I say, are face, you know, a lot of challenges. I mean, you know, even right now, you know, as a man say a while ago, he need to go back and call, he have some reading problems and stuff. You know, a man could have picked up little hustling here, there, you know. But right now, because of this whole COVID situation, you know, you know, it's hard for him to pick up a little juggling. Because in can't go in a people's house now for doing a painting or something like that, or, you know, no flooring or something like that, because, um, you know, everybody are trying to stay safe. In can't go in and go do a little hustling, you know, cut people yard or stuff like that, because nobody don't really want nobody around them. You know, and if I did, I do the yard, I do the garden, I cut the garden, and you did the whole day. Then I go and use them bathroom. So, you know, it cut off a lot of like hustling the people have to do. You know? But the struggle is real. I mean, I also want to share, you know, another thing where I look back on, reflect back on. I remember when I, you know, was in Jamaica. You know, I used to drive taxi and thing downtown there. You know, Port Antonio there. And um, you know, go to work a morning time. I mean, my type of cab driving was was sort of different still, you know, because we never really liked up on the road, I run up and down. My work was mainly charter, you know. I used to work with a taxi company, and you call, and then I come here, I was come pick you up, or you know, whatever service you want me for, you know, you want me to do. Like sometimes some people call say. Oh, can you pick up my lunch up at uh, this restaurant here and drop it? Come give me or stuff like that. You know, basically stuff like that. But after a while, you know, the road get tough. Hard. So, you find out, you know, the phone calls are not coming often as before. And, um, I had to resort now, going downstairs now, see people are pass by the road and I ask them if they want a taxi. And sometimes the people them used to rude to me. Yeah. And sometimes me feel bad. Me really feel bad. Because, you know, I mean, who like insult? Nobody not really like insult still. You know? So, um, you know, they, they still me start run taxi, run the road. Start up on the road and all, like run, go to a scheme. Get, you know, like you pick up somebody, carry them like out a scheme. Charter you and then when you come down you start pick up back some people and come down you start so you start for you know help make money and stuff like that but then things get a bit tighter again and I remember you know sitting down sometime and I daydream and I said to myself say yo we just want a chance for go a foreign car if you go a foreign when we go a foreign things are gonna be alright you know and that opportunity come about and trust me people <laughs> with all that expectation we may have in my head about foreign and when we reach foreign i want different something different 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 ball game no money no line pan no street you understand what i say yeah people not so friendly as you know how people used to be friendly at jamaica you can see a neighbor and say hello and stuff like that is a total different world. It's like you pick me up somewhere and I may have an expectation. I right, just imagine you have the expectation of some of somewhere. And when you reach it, it's absolutely nothing like it. You know? Me a youth at Jamaica, you know, may have about three car around me. Yeah. And one bus. I may see me come a foreign country. I may have had to take public transport and them time they, it was the whole bus of England, the whole bus of England then we when you go up on them bus, and the bus tapping you know, on, the bus are chuckling on, the bus they pan. So it's a shake up, you know. Sometimes I feel bad. 
never jerk so yet in my life you know but we still have to struggle same way i mean me cry day and night sometimes i say boy i want to go home i want to go home you know we are running one little business at jamaica and never so bad you know you know and then we come a foreign country and i expect a boy the street line with bull and uh, nothing like that i remember you know when come cycling a bit and i used to work at one train station I used to clean the trains some farmer that duty was to clean the train toilets people still live on the station same way now i call the station name but people still live on the stations you know same way i go and go now joke people still live on the station same way and you have you have your toilet bucket and everybody can see your, your toilet equipment them in the bucket there because you have something to spray in your toilet and all them things there you have a toilet bucket you have the bag them in your back pocket and the high vis and someone train pulling at the station and the people them come off of the train I saw you make your way to the train you understand you know um some of the Jamaican used to work at the place there they used to like one well, like they want to hide or something like that but I never look on it like that I just look on it and say yo you see when mountain come and the money in my pocket me I talk about you know I now look on the job yeah so they never used to all the worst if they see all one black smaddy and this smaddy uh, look like they want Jamaican dressed like I want Jamaican or something like that they want hide it you know um there was a real struggle at work because um <laughs> all right basically when you go to clean the train you had what we call a checker so somebody who actually check off the train to see if the train clean properly and that was for the actual train company because we were working for like a contract a contracted company right so if if you say you clean the train and the checker go on the train and find rubbish or find to the tire and clean or stuff like that then they would find the company the, the company accrued a fine so the company was they was getting a lot of fines because people now do it good and you know the company are coming on heavy from way anyway me at that time i never really actually know who the checker was because the checker don't come all the time and the checker come um, unannounced you know she just turn up anyway one day i um clean my train and when me look behind me people it was that checker checker lady and you know she had her notepad and her hand and you know she had write and she had check and you know she asked me questions and you know my reply she said to me say you are jamaican and i said to her I say you know yeah and me and her all start get chatty and people are tell her something to my surprise that checker was a lady from snow hill snow hill portland yes yeah tell you and we can tell you this every train from that day onwards a pass <laughs> yeah well i can't forget that lady you know I mean, you know, people used to, because when they used to they check out the boat, you know, the management, them, the direct, sometimes the director come down, you know. You understand? I'm dip on the platform and I make sure it's a heavy thing because they don't want them company, I could not find. And trust me, from that day after, every train of the street vibes go up on a pass. So it look like, say, from that, that time when they want street vibes to go up on every train. You know, it was a real challenge. I remember again, I used to work on a train station, I have my toilet bucket. Crowd of people are coming up, people. And when I look, when I look, you know who me seen a crowd that come, people. Who no remember, there was, there was a twin from up a country there, one named Duane. I don't know where the other one name, but one named Duane. They used to drive taxi go up a country there, up a, maybe up a ginger house, Jack, Windsor, up the way there. Brown you, good you them, Duane and... I forgot what the other one name. But I'm looking at a crowd number and one of them I see you know. 
And the man see me and the man I say, yo, what are you on? I mean, I tell you, stand up and talk to the man with the toilet bucket in my hand, you know. Yeah, man. And trust me, people, I felt no way you like say boy, you know, me feel embarrassed or nothing like that because that was my honest bread. You know? Looking back now and that, you know, where I'm coming from, trust me, I would have do it all over again. No shame in my game. Absolutely no shame at all in my game. Because it helped me to where I am today. So, you know, I have to just give thanks for certain experiences that we go through. And, you know, just go and press on, you know. Sometimes, listen out for people's experiences as well. Because, as I said, that help to motivate you. You know, to keep going on. Because people, regardless what it is, once we have life, we have to live. Once we have life, we have to live. We might not live the way we want to live. But, you know, we have to live. And people, it's trying times at the moment. Like, you know, real trying times at the moment. You know? You know, maybe your neighbor beside you has got you tough times. And, I mean, you don't even know. Maybe you have got you tough times and your neighbor don't know. You know? So, right now, if we can share or we can, you know, conversate sometimes. Hi, how are you doing? You know, how things going? You know, how you're managing through the pandemic? You know, sometimes people just want, just to say something other people woke them up. But the struggle out there is real. Trust me. It's real. A lot of people out there now, you know, recover from the COVID. You know, a lot of people out there recover from COVID. You know, and, 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 you know, they were thinking that it's the last day that they were going to live. And today they can look back and see, you know, look back on the journey where they might come from and where they are today and say, yes, give thanks. Maybe some of them appreciate life more than how they, you know, how it was before. You know, little things that they take for granted, they start looking on things from a different perspective because of the journey that they've been through. You know, a lot of people out there um, try their best, you know, not to get this disease here. A lot of people out there try their best as to prepare for a rainy day. But guess what? This rain here will come, it was it poured too hard and too long. So therefore, all the reserve run out. You know? A lot of people out there, I, 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 I was listening to this program here, and, um, you know, this man, Colleen, the man was a pilot. And at the moment, now, he's driving truck. He's a truck driver now. So, situation change. The thing is, are you ready for any changes at all? Because we see this time now, trust me, further on down, further down, things will get worse than this. How we have to cope? We have to be our brother's keepers. We have to look out for each other. We have to love each other, care for each other. You know, you have to look back from where you come from, where you are today, you know. Inspire somebody to do better. Mm. So, yes, my people, so I saw the thing said, you know, I mean, is there anybody out there who want to, you know, share their story? You know, just type in the comment section and I will reach out to you. You know, struggle is real. I keep on, I say this. A friend of mine told me that her neighbor takes her to borrow half a glass of milk. Even when I'm there in Jamaica, I never hear of them situation yet. 
And this is a first world country we say we live in. It's rough everywhere in the world right now. It's rough all over. It's hard. It's rough. Rough. And not only Jamaica alone. Rough America, rough England, rough all over. Struggle is real. This, 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 this time we are living here now force people to do even things that they don't want to do. You know, I was reading a, a um article where, you know, the sex worker them a complain because. They're not getting no business. So it hit everybody. So, you know, I say, you know, we just want to keep the love. You know, whatever you do out there, you know, just be safe. Try your best to do good. You know, and as I say, I keep saying, encourage somebody, encourage somebody, encourage somebody. You know, encourage somebody. My mother and father would. You know. You know yeah. it's true to the flex representing for street vibes. I'm gonna say your street vibes. Let's keep the vibes alive, you know. Yeah man, for real. Definitely. We gotta keep the vibe alive. Yeah man, big up my cousin. Big up Miss Leslie. Proper manners and respect. You know? I want to thank you for what you're doing out there. Because we know you're in a day health field. So, we want to big you up. Big up um, Terry as well. You know, your daughter. Much love and respect. And I want to thank her for what she's doing out there. You know? Struggle is real with people. So, I will play that tune again. I want to listen to the words of that music here. Just listen to the words. Tune, you know, the words of this music and you know, that we are talking about you know very creative well put together music now tell them yeah and people please remember please check out street vibes new page street vibes and friends go over youtube there eh? street vibes and friends check it out check it out you know um you know subscribe to a page you know support the thing you know ken i want you to big up yourself you know ken you know what I say? I'm going to reach out to Ken because Ken out there, there right through the pandemic. I'm sure he's out there, you know, doing the thing. So I want to hear of some of the struggles where Ken got through. Yeah, because, you know, him out there. Out there right through. And sometimes we need to talk to some of them people here who have been going out there fighting the buckle, they on the buckle field. You know, I face this serious disease that we have out there so i don't know if we'll get him still if in there work still but we'll see if we can reach out to him we'll see if we can get him for the thing here we'll see what can go on uh 
Yeah, we could see if we can get. Let's see if we can get Ken on the live. Yeah, yeah man, for real. See what I go on there. See if we can get the boss there. Hello? Yes, to my family, what I go on? Yeah, man. Man has a respect. Yes, people, we get the boss for the live here. Every time, every time. Yeah, man. Every Proper man has a respect, you know? We day here and we are talking about time. basically reflection of some things that we go through throughout this pandemic here and even before still, you know? And um, I see you make a comment and, you know, I know say you're out the right show, you know, I serve the public. So, yeah, yeah, man, right show, non-stop, right show, man. Yeah, man, oh, and thank you for the hard work you are putting, you know. Yeah. And, you know, bless up your family. So, brother, I'm going to ask you, how, how was it like to, especially the first pandemic we got through? You did scared? Well, to be honest with you, you know. I never fear no evil in a man because I put my trust in the Almighty to protect me at the time, you know. That is me. I don't know if you know one else, but mm -hmm. I always, you know, no matter what, I just never fear no evil from when I was growing up. I never fear no evil, you understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always yeah. trust the Almighty to protect me. But anything yeah. can happen in life, you know, because you don't know, you know, when it comes to them, things like pandemic and you know, we see a lot of people suffer from it as well, but we are thankful we don't suffer from it, you understand? So, mm. you know, and, um, you lose any loved one? You know, one? Family you know, my family member, they don't really suffer from it either, you understand? Just that it changes, it changes life completely different. Definitely, you know, definitely. Some things where you used to do, you can't really, you know, at the moment, you know? Definitely, definitely. But, well, well, people, we have Kenya, you know, and Kenya is a bus driver, you know. I carry people to and from their destination safe, you know. And we have to bless him up, we have to big him up and just love him and know, say, well, yeah, this is a man, the man putting life yeah, out yeah, there yeah. the line. Um, to be honest with you, me, me feel a bit more safer since the, um, them come out and seal up the bus cap, them and, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I feel a bit more safer since them come out and seal up the bus cap them and start to give us um, more, 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 a bit more protection, like providing us with um, more um, sanitizing things and, and, and they got proper cleaners that clean the bus properly and then things, you know? Yeah. So, so mm -hmm. I really feel a bit more safe since they start doing that. Okay. So, may I ask you a question now, Ken? So, um... Mm. What are some of the challenges that we have faced out there? People, you find some people are put on their mask and stuff? Well, yeah, people do put on their mask, you know, but me, I've seen bus drivers um, um, going, going, going out at people and telling them to, you know, put on their mask. But me, I don't do that. I mm. just do my own thing. If they want to put masks, they put masks because you don't know who exempt from masks from who don't exempt from masks. Definitely, masks. brother. Definitely. Send that from themselves. Definitely. Send out cards many times. Send that from send out cards many times saying that we are, bus drivers should not challenge people about masks because they are people that they send out to deal with them kind of situation. Mm -hmm, you know mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so mm -hmm, I don't mm -hmm. really I don't really go about um, 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 asking people to wear masks, you know? Yeah. So another question I want to ask now, Ken. I mean, how people view you? Because over here, you know, in England here, we have a thing where, um, personally me, I feel a way about it. Because I feel like the NHS, everybody's on about the NHS, NHS, NHS. And it's not only the NHS out there. So, well, it's true because um, right now, them, them, they make it they make it look like we don't really count, you understand? Because them 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 reach out for the NHS a hundred percent, you know, man. And you know, even some some shops that NHS people go into, they get discount and the bus servers don't get them things there. You understand? Yeah, because, yeah, yeah. Um with with the um with this um we even have a parking um situation where um they were they were allowing us to park um Round the garage when you drive your car, they give you a little um a little permit like saying that you're a key worker, you're a go ahead, you work with go ahead and you're a key worker. You mm -hmm. could have parked your car on the single yellow line them and 
and um, the permit be them and leave your car. But they, they they take away that now. They took it away. I don't know why. Okay. And the NHS people still still can 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 go ahead and can do. Can go ahead and do it. Them what are people? They want to park. Yeah, 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 yeah. You NHS so, meaning um national health service. You know, national mm-hmm. health service in England. That's what we're talking about. Okay, so you find some people, people like people on the street, they 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 they're kind towards you, um, you know. Well, appreciate you, you do not not everybody. You do have one and two people who will come on the bus and will say thank you, driver, for what you're doing, man. You know, um, you, you're really doing a good job because during this pandemic, it's really serious, and how you're doing a job trying to take us to and from work and whatever. One and two people you will find do that, but most people they don't give a shit about you. They you know they. They want to come and, and um, abuse you the same way and try to... So, hold on, you know, no, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me ask a question. So, people want to abuse you in the pandemic while they are carrying them around? Yes, man. Yeah, you still get abuse. <laughs> no, no, I don't, I don't mean to laugh, people. I don't mean to laugh. But they're serious. Yeah? You're serious? I'm telling you, man. Listen, I, about, I think about two weeks ago, I pick up a woman on the 180. This was about, like, 4 o'clock in the morning. Because mm. most being a night shift and they almost finished. And she come on the bus and she, um she telling me she wants to um go to North Greenwich. And mm. um, you know, and she ain't got no pass. I said, Well, you know, I don't have any problem you taking you on the bus, you know, but you should have a pass and, and, and this time of the morning, what you know, why why are you travelling without pass then? Oh, that is why you're just a bus driver. Why are you why are you coming and talk like that? I said I said, I don't have any problem with you coming on the bus for free, but, you know, you should have a pass. I guess that's, that's, that's all I said. Mm. I didn't say anything bad. Oh, you, you need to go and make, get a life. You want a bag of rubbish, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I want to share a story with you, Ken. I mean, I don't want to say what the man said, because I don't want to cost no bad you know. But I remember mm. when I used to drive a bus. Um, I was going to Brixton. I don't know if you remember what Mr. used to say. I I don't like bus going through Brixton at all, the Brixton area. Yeah, 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 yeah. Many drivers not driving um, buses that go to Brixton. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I you know I was on the thirty five, um, driving towards Brixton, and this man stopped the bus. I mean, I was in a good mood mood the morning, you know. Yeah. And the man come on the bus, you know, elderly man, big man, you know. And I said to the man, say, "Good morning." The man say, "How we are tell good morning? Eh? How we are tell good morning?" <laughs> And the man cussed the BC word. I say, I hear yeah. to know, I hear to know, I hear to know what's it not bus driver. You come and tell me what good's about the morning. And Ken, <laughs> I'm telling you, the man give it to me. I, 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 I sit there and I was like laughing like, how can this be possible? How can a, a person abuse a person so because you tell him just Listen, good morning? A regular thing that man. You say good morning, they ask you if you don't have anything better to do. <laughs> yeah. And yet, TFL, TFL, that's what TFL wanted to do, you know, greet them nicely yes, and whatever. Sir. I don't, me, you know me already. Me always now smile. Very and um, cause you always tell me to smile. And I always tell you to smile. And, yes, man. Yes, man. Yes, yeah. man. Yes, but I mean, you smile for who smile for you, man? You yeah, don't smile, yeah. you, you know, you can't um, just smile like that. As, as we're talking about this. Sometimes when you smile, it, it, mm-hmm. sometimes when you smile, it works against you. Yes, definitely. Well, I want to get mm-hmm. another, I want to get another one for me. Uh, I remember I was driving um, 468 and you know going around um, West Norwood there, West Norwood bus garage there, the road mm-hmm. knock off right? So we stopped mm-hmm. which part the West Norwood train station is like going towards Croydon and centre come had made an announcement saying that you know the bus is on diversion and where they want us to go. Now yeah, I yeah. had a wheelchair user on the bus and I announced where the bus was going but for some reason, you know, I thought that I need to explain to this wheelchair user to make sure that they yeah. understand because I, I, I don't want to That's go on the journey. I don't want to, I'm, I'm, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold yeah. on, Chris. One second. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, all right, no problem because we don't want that. No, yeah. no. I, I didn't want to it, um, go on the journey and, um, yeah. you know, the wheelchair user, you know, miss out him way because there's no way yeah. we could have taken him back. So I come out the camp and I go to the, the you know the, the person and I say hello good afternoon um the bus is on diversion and I proceed to explain what the man said to me why are you singling me out so I said what do you mean 
He said, why you come on the bus and walk up to me and explaining to me where the bus is going? Why you didn't go to anybody else on the bus? And the man properly give it to me, you know? Yeah. Properly give it to me. Then, then listen, me have a friend the other, the other day, one of my friends tell me, say he was doing the express and he, and pick, he come to Crown Point in the morning. You mm-hmm. know, the picking up coming down. Mm-hmm. And this, something. This wheelchair, this wheelchair user, he wanted to get on the bus. Mm-hmm. So the guy said he come down and you know I went to him and said to him, look, boss, this is an express service, you know, and um we're not stopping until we get to Waterloo. Mm-hmm. He said, no, I I want to get on the bus. I don't care uh, what where you're stopping. So the guy tell him, look, we're not dropping off no one until we get to Waterloo, boss. Just please understand. He said, no, 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 I want to get on the bus. So he get on the bus, the guy let him on the bus. When he went to West Town, he wanted to get off. The mm. guy didn't drop him off, he took him to Waterloo. Because you know the express thing, <laughs> yes, and anyway, the thing they report here, you know. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the guy took him to Waterloo, they report him. But he never, not never come out of it because the man come down from his cab and explain to him and tell him, look, the bus is, is, is not going to stop until Waterloo, you know, you know, drop off anyone. But he didn't listen. He didn't listen. Yeah, man, that's your man. I mean, we are, we are talking about reflection. As as I mean, people. I mean, if you don't know, I I I I, I drove the bus for about you know near enough fourteen years, and then mm. you know I move on. But um, the same thing. I remember Ken. I was driving the express myself, and coming down from Croydon towards um Waterloo. You know, yeah. I I have a thing about me where I normally explain every stop yeah. I go. I explain, you know what all, all the bus yeah. system works yeah, right? yeah yeah just to be on the safe side just yes, to be sir. on the safe side and um i explained to you know about three or four people you know you see they stand where the luggage area is like they're quick to yeah. run out the bus when you stop when yeah. you open the front doors and um you know i explained to them and they still were there not listening and stuff so what they mm. were looking at is they were looking at when the bus stop at crown point they would just run off and when they stop at West now, they will just run off. Yeah? Yeah. But guess what, Ken? When I stop at Crown Point, there was like the bus before was broken down. So yeah. a crowd of people came on the bus and the bus was full. At Crown Point. Yeah? yeah? Yeah. So going down to West Norwood and every stop after that, there was no need to stop because I couldn't take anybody else. And they were on the bus wanting to get off. Mm-hmm. So you know they end up at Waterloo. <laughs> <laughs> because they were anticipating that the bus was going to stop. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's what a lot of them do. So, you know, I mean, you know, I, I just say go. You know, I just say go. I mean, you know, Ken, just keep doing the good work out there. Maximum manners and respect. Bless up wife, bless up the kids. And, yeah, you man, know, yeah, bless man. up. Yeah, like wife me, man. Yeah, man, and bless up your fellow bus colleagues, you know. Bless up management. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. go ahead, people. Good bus company. I can't give them no bad name. No. You know, no, no, I, no. I give thanks for the experience of, you know, working with them, you know, for a number of years. And I want to tell you, me just, me just lost a good virgin as well over Abelio. You know, he was a Kuwait for a driver. Is it? Um, Which one is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We and him was on the road today, there and he, um, you, you know the foyer for coming back over next month. Yes, I, I, I heard that. Yeah, yes, yeah, and I yeah, spoke yeah. to him the other day and he told me coming over with the road. But unfortunately, the man passed away Friday morning and from what I get is that he, he went and took the vaccine last week. Wow. And from when he took the vaccine, he fell ill and he never recovered. Wow. Because mm, um, he has some health conditions, so maybe mm. that's why he, Cause he's only sixty one years old. And, uh, you know, he, well, I'm sorry yeah, for yeah. hearing that, man. Well, you know, I saw you go. You know, I mean, it not gonna work for everybody. I don't think it will work for everybody. You know, so no, some no, of us no. are gonna perish from it. Um, no. you know, but it's sad. It's really sad. I yeah, hope the family pull through and everything. You know, um, yeah. I see that brown man is back. <laughs> Who's that? Ah, uh, what's his name again? Um, Rasta man, man, music man. Dev. Devon? Yeah, man. Dev is back, man. <laughs> oh. I, 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 I saw him driving. Uh, I was driving my truck and I saw him. I see that he's back. Well, uh, quite and a few people come back in you know, a Chris. Well, the short staff, ain't it? But anyway, Ken, 
we now not get too much in a company business though, because you know so this True. public. So True. but that's why I don't people yeah. the job after a while and then come back, man, because nothing not going on for them. Not now going out there at all, not now going mm-hmm. out there. And and also not now going for the company as well. True. You know? So mm-hmm. um yeah, so and I just blessings my brother. Keep the foot running. All right, all right, you know, big up, bless up yourself, up family, bless up every time and go and protect man. yourself. Keep safe. Yeah man. Right? Bless up. Yeah, Respect. Man. Yeah man. Bless up. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. Cool. Yeah man. Yes, my people, that's a real man that's out there. Um you know, just doing it. You know? Fighting the fight out there, you know. Is is you know, facing this whole virus i mean you know he's he's out there taking people safely from point a to point b you know we have to bless them up every time so people i mean we are not close now i hope you know everybody has got something from this live here and realize that you know the struggle is on the struggle is you know is there um you might feel like you are going through the worst situation but you know there's other people out there that is actually going through it more than you you know um in times like these you know we need each other you know see if you can share help in whatever way you can you know big up yourself and people please remember check out my youtube channel street vibes and friends you know go over there subscribe you know like and share and subscribe to my youtube channel you know maximum respect you know this is where we're gonna close and this is where i'm gonna say if you can't be good you know be careful you know much love i'm gonna play this song again and um people as me say listen to the words i trust me the words of this song here means a lot you know the struggle is on the struggle is real much love can be good be careful street vibes i was out at the moment but once again i said please check out my youtube channel street vibes and friends i mean like share and go over the channel and subscribe support the thing big up on yourself bless up maximum respect and people my inbox is always open always open so much love and respect if there's something one want we talk about no problem at all if you feel like you want to be a panelist on our program, fine. That can be arranged. You know? Make a share. You know? The struggle is on whatever we are going through. Because I say, sometimes when we share the thing, you know, we motivate others. You know? And, you know, I want to big up everybody who participated in our live this evening. Maximum love and respect. Let's keep this thing going. As I said, I want to do this like every Sunday. We'll be talking about different, different stuff. Go and check out my YouTube play page. Um, there's different stuff on it. You know, we'll, I'll be talking about different stuff. 
I also will be doing some DIY around the house. I've got some videos on it. Um, I'll be working on cars, you know, is on it, you know, just some simple DIY stuff, you know, is also on there, you know, is a channel where we learn and we have discussion about various things. So bless up yourself. I hope, you know, you guys have a blessed and productive coming week and we'll talk again next week, Sunday. Maximum respect. Street vibes. Out. Yeah man, bless up on yourself. Bless up, bless up, bless up, bless up, bless up. Yeah.